Brooke, one of the hardest things about a struggling relationship, whether you're a celebrity or not, is knowing when it's time to hang it up versus just keep plugging away. Yeah, I feel like that's just a societal thing that's been like drilled into our brains. Like divorce is looked at as failure, even it's for yeah. even if it's for the best of everyone. So it's like, yeah. I was just was I talking about this with you? I was having this conversation recently where it's like we made growing up it was like divorce is the worst thing that could ever happen. And it's like, yeah. is it? It's like if you're not happy, your kids probably aren't happy either. So yes. yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it looks like Sasha Baron Cohen and Isla Fisher have decided to call it quits. They recently surprised quite a few people in Hollywood when they announced that they're divorcing after 13 years of marriage. Yeah. And, you know, we always joke that 2023 was the year of celebrity memoirs and breakups. And breakups. Mm -hmm. But there's speculation that this might just be a case of a celebrity memoir causing a celebrity breakup, or at least the announcement mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. So you knew Rich and Daily would have such an impact on cultural moments like this. I knew. I knew. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. From Wondery, <laughs> I'm Arisha Skidmore williams And I'm Brooke Ziffrin. It's Monday, April 8th. And you're listening to Rich and Daily. So we've talked a lot about Sasha Baron Cohen here lately, thanks to Rebel Wilson's memoir, where she calls him a colossal asshole. I was just remarking before we actually started recording, never did I think I'd be talking about Sasha Baron Cohen this much. I this know. This year or any year. I know. I mean, if, if Rich and Daily was on the air when Borat came out, we probably would have been. Oh, yeah. It, but, you know, this nowadays, it's like, okay. It's a different world. It's like it just goes to show you. Celebrity news, it moves, it changes. You just never know. And yep, thank God we're here. Yeah, that's, <laughs> you know, that should be our new tagline. Moves, yep. changes, thank God we're here. Yeah. Um, but now Sasha's personal life is what's keeping him in the spotlight. On mm -hmm. Friday, he and his wife, Isla Fisher, released a joint statement on Instagram where they announced that after 13 years of marriage, they're getting divorced. Yeah, so they both shared the same announcement on their Instagram stories, and it was a picture of them dressed in matching tennis outfits. And they wrote, After a long tennis match lasting over 20 years, we are finally putting our rackets down. In 2023, we jointly filed to end our marriage. It went on to say, We have always prioritized our privacy and have been quietly working through this change. We forever share in our devotion and love for our children. We sincerely appreciate your respecting our family's wish for privacy. And so we took that and we said, okay, we're going to do a whole episode about you. Yeah. 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 We already have people on the ground trying to, you know, <laughs> peep through their windows with binoculars, find out what's really going on. Uh -huh. We need to start working valet again and hope Chelsea Handler throws another party that they're at so we can really get the inside. Honestly, scoop. I would dust off my valet vest just to go and work. We did work not wear vests. <laughs> we never wore vests. We wore nothing. But, I mean, we wore clothes. Yes, we but were we naked. Wore <laughs> Honestly, naked valets, that could be a thing. I mean, that's what they wanted originally, I'm sure. Although, who wants someone's bare ass on the driver's know. seat? I know. Bring a towel. Yeah. BYOT. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> details about the actual filing, they're sketchy. Yeah. Uh, Isla and Sasha are pretty, I mean, they say this in their statement, but in general, they are not open about their family. They keep it pretty yeah, private. we don't hear a lot about them. Yeah. I admire, I hate it. But I yeah. admire it. Yeah. Um, but all we know is that Sasha and Isla filed at some point last year. Like it could yeah. have been January 2023. It could have been December 31st, 2023. We don't know. Um, and we <laughs> Did you don't... want to list any other months that it could have been? <laughs> no, I was doing the beginning of the year. <laughs> uh -oh. It could also be May 2023. It could, have been May. It could be yeah. July. I mean, I could go on and on. I could literally go each date. We could make yeah. this a good 20 minute episode. And we Two should. hour episode. Yeah. That's what people want. Uh, <laughs> me listing dates <laughs> for an hour. Uh, so we don't know the official reason that was cited for the split. Mm -hmm. We don't even know if it's irreconcilable differences, which... It's gotta be. I hope it's There's not. There's not enough choices. It's probably that. I hope it's one where you fill in your own choice and it's... <laughs> they sucked at playing tennis. And like, we mm. can't compete this. We were losing too many matches. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a source did tell the Daily Mail, though, that their marriage has been shaky for years. Yes. And who better to trust than the Daily Mail and their sources? All they do is spit facts <laughs> that they made up. So apparently things started to break down after they moved to Australia in 2020 so that Isla could be closer to her family. Apparently, because Sasha was so far from everyone he knows, he felt isolated. 
The source also says that in spite of the love they have for each other, they couldn't make it work because they just grew apart. I guess they said that they wanted different things career-wise. So Mm -hmm. I get Mm -hmm. that. Now, in terms of a prenup, that same source told the Daily Mail that they do have one, but they didn't give any specifics about it. And Sasha and Isla do have three kids, two teenage daughters who are 17 and 14, and a nine-year-old son. And they've never revealed the name of their kids. So just another example of them being very private. Yeah. That's such a long time, too. I would love to be this kind of person, but I would have slipped up so many times by now. Because they do. They do. I mean, they don't, like, go into such detail about their kids. But they'll talk about their kids on, like, the red carpet where they're like, oh, yeah, like, I love blah, 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 blah. But they never say their names. Yeah. Impressive. (laughs) I know. That's, I mean, especially the 17-year-old. Like, that's such a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I love but, it. I mean, I, I think it's great. People are putting their kids way too much on social media these days. Yeah, yeah. So the Daily Mail source um, also says that Isla currently has custody of the kids while they work out the best arrangement for them. So this source see. has a lot of information, but also not a lot of information. Like I know. Who is this source? Uh, yeah. <sighs> the 17 year old. <laughs> yeah. So even though Sasha and Isla filed for divorce sometime last year, the fact that they're announcing it now is very interesting because Mm -hmm. it's coming on the heels of all of the drama between Rebel Wilson and Sasha. One source who spoke to the sun, another absolutely (laughs) irrefutable source. (laughs) Um, But this source says it's not a coincidence. The source says that Rebel's memoir was definitely a catalyst and Isla's decision to go public with the divorce. Mm -hmm. So the source said Isla has her own career and reputation to worry about. They said she was starting to get embarrassed with all the allegations that were spilling out of Rebel's book. So the source said Sasha didn't want to make the announcement, but Isla felt like it was the right time. But a different source who spoke to Us Weekly, finally, a publication we can trust. (laughs) I know. What world are we living in? (laughs) Us Weekly is like the credible source. I know. It's really sad. Uh, But that source says the rebel drama has nothing to do with their divorce announcement. They said, Sasha and Isla have been living separate lives since last year, but wanted to give this space and time for their children to be okay before the news came out and they got all this attention. So, (sighs) yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I, okay. I have a theory, but I'm going to ask you first. What do you think about the timing of this? Is this a coincidence? Is this just Hollywood swinging? <laughs> what? <laughs> like being a Hollywood person where it's just like you're constantly moving and shaking and swinging. No, That's I think they're thing, swingers. Right? Definitely swingers. Obviously. A source told me they were wearing a fake mustache. So I've never heard of a more refutable source. I know. Um. So... I don't know. I at first I was like, oh, that's silly. We're just making mountains out of molehills here. But I guess <laughs> the timing is a little weird. But like, I don't know. They were just posting together in like, well, I guess it's been a year now. I forget that it's 2024. But like a year ago, they were posting that they were all happy. And like a, there was a picture of them like kissing. And I don't know. So I'm like, <laughs> what? what's going on here? But I could see like There's a I picture look, of them kissing. Well, he's so like funny. kissing her on the cheek, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, I mean, I could see her being like, you know, I got to I got to separate myself from this. Like we should mm-hmm. we should mm-hmm. let people know. What's your theory? My theory is and I have nothing to go off, just like the sources that gave quotes to the <laughs> uh-huh. different publications. That's good. Enough. Is that because, <laughs> you know, you have to get cl- they have to get clearance for these books. And obviously Rebel's been writing this book for a while. Uh-huh. So I think that it got back to Sasha, either on purpose or accidentally that he was going to be in this book. Mm -hmm. This came out. They knew about this in 2023. And they and that was Isla being like, this is the last straw. Like, Mm -hmm. not even just that. I mean, I I don't think that she necessarily cares so much about this because this is Sasha Baron Cohen, like doing ridiculous things like (laughs) she knew that when she married him. Yeah. But I think it was just kind of things had been building up. And this was her way of being like. That's it. And now it's just coming out now because they're already in the news. So they're just kind of like, let's tack this on Mm -hmm. to like, because already I don't see it as much on my news feed. Like, I feel like it's already kind of losing steam. There was already so much Sasha Baron Cohen news that I know enough. Enough. (laughs) So you think the memoir caused it regardless? I don't think it caused it. I think it was just like, you know, when you can't decide and something happens (laughs) and you're like, okay, 
fine. <laughs> like, it's not necessarily the cause of it, but it just cements the decision. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. I think that's probably a fair theory. The, yeah. the one source did say that there was no cheating. Like, cheating didn't have any part of yeah. it. So that's probably important to note. Um, I don't think I, – I don't see either of them cheating. No, I don't either. Based off my intimate knowledge of their relationship. Yes. That 10 minutes I was around them, I was like, they're rock solid. <laughs> yeah, now look, cut to 2023. I know, I know. But who's to say? I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure they'll give us information when they want to give us information, when it's not some shady source talking to the Daily Mail in a back alley. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're never going to hear anything else about this again. Wow. Okay. Well, just because I don't, they're not going to give, they don't give us anything. <laughs> we don't even know their children's names. And That's one of their true. children is a legal adult about to be. I know. So they're gonna finally come out and be like, this is my name. <laughs> and a we'll name reveal. <laughs> yeah. That's Way better fun. than gender reveals, I'm going to say. Amen. From Wondery, I'm Arisha Skidmore Williams. And I'm Brooke Ziffrin. This is Rich and Daily. See you tomorrow, Richies. If you like our show, please follow us on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you're listening right now. Be sure to follow us on all socials at Arisha Skidmore Williams and at Brooke Ziffrin. We love to connect with you.